we are going to discuss how to sell a house that is haunted on this video. Are you ready? Let's go! Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Dean Weda. And I am Chelsea Suda. And we are Real Estate of Hawaii. Hey, Chelsea, how come you're dressed that way? It's Halloween. Oh yeah. In that case, how's this? Way better. <laughs> it's October, Halloween season, and guess what? Halloween is on this season. We thought it would be the perfect time to discuss how to sell a haunted house. Also, check out our recent video on scary real estate stories. The following content is from the National Association of Realtors. Every house has a history, but what if the house you're trying to sell has a history that is a bit more ghoulish than most? If you or your community believes a house is haunted, it can make selling a bit more difficult. However, there are several options for someone with a spooky property to sell. Just follow a few simple steps to get the haunted house off your hands. The first thing you will want to do is to establish if you are required to inform potential buyers of their future paranormal roommates. To answer that, you will want to consult your realtor about your state's disclosure laws. Haunted houses fall into the category of stigmatized properties. Laws vary by state, so you may be required to inform buyers in writing of any possible problems. Even if you don't have to disclose, it's still a good idea to give your buyers a heads up. If your house is known around the community to be haunted, the spooks will eventually let the buyer know. It can create a lot of goodwill if you can tell potential buyers to expect a couple of bumps in the night. There is a chance that your haunted house may even be a selling point. Strange as it may sound, there are people who would love to live in a haunted house. A survey from Realtors.com revealed that nearly 60% of respondents would consider buying a haunted house. If you can't find an amateur paranormal investigator to buy your house, it might be time to lower the price. That same Realtor.com survey showed that 40% of buyers would require a price reduction in order to choose a haunted home over a non-haunted home. If you tried everything and nothing has worked, bringing the selling price down might be your only option. If ghosts and ghouls have generated interest in your property, then a bargain price should do the trick. And remember, if you're thinking of selling your home, Think of us, your Real Estate of Hawaii team. I'm not a warlock, but sometimes they call her a wicked wahine. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Oh. I was just joking. <laughs> mm -hmm.